The police in Indianapolis on Thursday faced mounting pressure to provide answers for a traumatic eight-hour stretch in the city in which police officers killed three people. A man shot by the police while he streamed the encounter live on Facebook, a pregnant woman who was fatally struck by an officer's car, and a 19-year-old man who may have called 911 to lure the police to an apartment before firing at him. Hundreds of protesters gathered downtown and at the scene of one of the shootings, a rare display of public grief and outrage in a state still largely shut down because of the coronavirus. Although the number of people killed by police officers in the city has dropped sharply in recent years, the string of deaths and the harrowing circumstances of each set off renewed scrutiny of the Indianapolis Metropolitan Police Department. Much of the protesters' anger was directed at the first of the three encounters, in which Dries Hon Reed, 21, was shot and killed while running from a police officer after a car chase on Wednesday evening. Mr. Reed, whom the police said they pursued after seeing him nearly hit several cars, was streaming live on Facebook during the chase, and thousands of people were tuned in when he was shot. Randall Taylor, the police chief, said on Thursday that a gun was found near Mr. Reed and that it had been fired twice but that it was not clear which shots were fired when. Activists remained skeptical of the police account, and despite Mr. Reed's video, critical questions remained unanswered. Much of the encounter took place off-camera and the police said no body or dash cameras had recorded the killing. The video did capture a morbid joke from a detective out of view of the camera after Mr. Reed was shot. Think it's going to be a closed car scope, homie, the detective said, apparently referring to Mr. Reed's funeral. Chief Taylor said disciplinary action would be taken against the detective and called the comments unacceptable. At the protests on Thursday, some who considered the killing and just called for charges against the officer and said it followed a pattern for the police department, despite recent progress. It also recalled the death of Philando Castile, whose girlfriend recorded him on Facebook Live as he was dying after being shot by a police officer in Minnesota.